Chella is a research and training organization that covers a wide area of science, but one of our focus areas is on precision measurements. Chella, in my mind, really embodies the, the spirit of absolutely pus pushing the, the absolute frontiers of a scientific uh, explorations. We build tools that doesn't exist, and we use those tools to explore new scientific frontiers. One of the main reasons that JILA is involved heavily in measurement technologies is JILA is a unique partnership between the University of Colorado and the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. And so JILA has that unique combination of scientists focused primarily on making better measurements with this university environment encouraging a wide range of scientific investigation. Jilla is known, first of all, for its work on ultra-cold atoms and molecules. We are starting a second revolution where we actually are able to really control with high accuracy atoms with the capabilities that we, don't ha we didn't have before and try to use the, these systems to unravel fundamental questions and they are starting to give us some answer. One of the frontiers that a host of us are really pursuing is a 21st century quantum sensor. We'd like to actually create what are, what's called entanglement and quantum correlations between those atoms in such a way that they communicate with each other in some kind of quantum bus this whole idea of correlations and entanglement between atoms is essentially a completely untapped resource um, for being able to measure our universe better. It's a frontier, no one's been there before, but we're trying to explore it. To be able to deal with these quantum many-body phenomena, the complexity of lots of different atoms or molecules trying to interact together, we need to be able to manipulate them and control those manipulations very accurately. And fortunately, uh, JILA scientists have invented the perfect tool for that, which is something called the laser frequency column, or the femtosecond laser frequency column. JILA always has the trademark of using lasers. In fact, one could argue that letter L in JILA could stand for laser. And that really is true. We, here at JILA, we build better lasers. The best atomic clock in the world is just in the basement in Jun Yi's lab. This clock is, on one hand, can listen to you know, the heartbeat of the universe, just like it did. But at the same time, you can also look into the microscopic world of how atoms interacting with each other. In many areas of physics, people are studying how very simple rules of interactions can give rise to very complex behavior. And we have now turned the clock into one of those tools to study that. that is, it's kind of a wonderful. One of the most important products of JILA is not only the research accomplishments, which are well known, but the product that perhaps is the most important is the students and the people that it produces. There's a uniform, high quality researchers here, really smart, but on top of that, we feel like a team. So your success is my success, my success is your success. And what that does is it really fosters a spirit of exchange a, a, a cheering for each other, a willingness to help. Hey, if I've got something at my laboratory that can make your work go faster, let's do that. One of the many things that has been responsible for that collaborative environment is that at JILA, we have groups of people, almost the entire JILA faculty, who will apply collaboratively for grants, a block grant. That's like a glue that binds them together. So it's a really very close synergy between theory and experiment. Not only for me, that is really exciting to be able to provide theory for an experiment, but also for the students, because the students are exposed to this synergy. Sometimes my students will walk into the office and say, hey, I was just talking to somebody from a group in AMO physics, and I thought it was a great new idea for how I can improve the biological measurements we're doing. One of the th hallmarks of JILA is this constant evolution in the research areas. Everything from biophysics to chemistry to nanotechnology. So I'm always amazed by how creative and innovative the JILA scientists and students and postdoctoral fellows are. They're always coming up with new ideas. Creativity is the most crucial uh, uh, ingredient in good science. To move the frontier of science is to create. 